And this is the next video, and I'm going to click next page. Page four of six of the test. Our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counterterrorism. Strongly agree. A significant advantage of a one-party state is that it avoids all the arguments that delay progress in a democratic political system. Uh, disagree. Although the electronic age makes official surveillance easier, only wrongdoers need to be worried. Strongly disagree. The death penalty should be an option for the most serious crimes. Strongly disagree. Um, two of these, uh, the, the part about our civil liberties and uh, only wrongdoers need to be worried. Um, recently, with the passage of the National Defense Authorization Act, the uh, the article that, that states that uh, even our own citizens can be detained by the military indefinitely uh, actually worries me personally because I actually am the webmaster for at least 11 Occupy websites. And uh, I imagine that, you know, being that occupation, if you look at it uh, as a as a history of occupations, all of them were pretty much illegal actions that people just decided to illegally occupy something. Occupying is supposed to be illegal. And um, promoting people to do this illegal act by having 11 websites all with the word occupy in the URL could possibly get me indefinitely detained for information in my opinion. So, I am worried. <laughs> and I don't think that I'm being wrong when I do these things, when I set up these websites. So, not it's not just wrongdoers that need to be worried. <sighs> Let's see. In a civilized society, one must always have people above to be obeyed and people below to be commanded. Disagree? Abstract art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered art at all. Strongly disagree. In criminal justice, punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. Uh, strongly disagree. It is a waste of time to try to rehabilitate some criminals. Disagree. I do know the recidivity... Blah. The recivity. I can't even say the word right now. I know how often people tend to uh, reenact certain crimes that they've committed in the past. Recidivity. The recidivity. Okay, I got it right there. I'm not going to say it again. The business person and the manufacturer are the most important. Ugh. The business person and the manufacturer are more important than the writer and the artist. I'm going to strongly disagree. I'm a, I'm a writer and an artist. Um, mothers may have careers, but their first duty is to be homemakers. Uh, disagree. Multinational companies are unethically expensive exploiting the plant genetic resources of developing countries. I'm going to agree. Making peace with the establishment is an important aspect of maturity. Um, disagree. Page 5 of 6. Astrology accurately explains many things. Oh, so strongly disagree. <laughs> you cannot be moral without being religious. Strongly disagree. <laughs> Charity is, much, is better than social security 
as a means of helping the genuinely disadvantaged. Um, I'm going to agree on that one. Uh, I've seen charity work a lot better than our social programs, um, especially lately. Some people are naturally unlucky. Strongly disagree. It is important that my child's school instills religious values. <sighs> Strongly disagree. <sighs> Page six of six. Sex outside of marriage is usually immoral. Strongly disagree. A same-sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption. Strongly agree. Pornography depicting consenting adults should be legal for the adult population. Strongly agree. Pornography depicting... Let's see. That's the same question. Hold on. What goes on in private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. Strongly agree. No one can feel naturally homosexual. Strongly disagree. These days, openness about sex has gone too far. Strongly disagree. Now let's see where you stand. Do 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 do. It's time for the reveal. Um. Okay. So on the economic scale, I'm to the authoritarian right and in the social scale I'm somewhere in the middle I suppose and let's see I'm closest to an, a libertarian on this thing. I'm like right there. Um, I'm negative 0 0.88 on the economic left-right, and I am negative 5.74 on the social libertarian authoritarian thing. So it looks like I am a libertarian by what they're saying. And the person I'm closest to on this is the Dalai Lama. <sighs> okay. And I suppose my polar opposite would have to be Ehud Olmer or George W. Bush. If, if I look like op directly opposite of where I am. Um, so yeah, any one of those issues that anyone has, uh, heard me talk about in these two videos, if you want to discuss it, put it in the comments, I'll tell you why I feel that way. You can make a video response to anything about this at all, and you know where I stand because I answered the question. And I promise to at least watch your video and comment, and I'm, maybe I will make a video response. Um, and I, I promise to clarify whatever it is that people want to know about whatever politically, so that they don't have to just assume what I believe when I want to affiliate with the Republican Party in order to preserve choices later on and not just be left with a choice between a candidate that I feel okay voting for and then a candidate that, you know, I would never vote for. I would rather have two candidates that I would feel okay being president and then be able to decide between their differences. So, um, in order to give myself a choice in the general election, I affiliated with the Republican Party, not because I wanted to fuck with them or screw with them, but because the Democrats have the incumbent 
in office, and there is no choice to be made on the Democrat side. Um, so this is why I didn't do it in the last election, because there were uh, primaries on, in both major political parties. So this time around, there's only one, and so I am affiliating with that party uh, just because that's the, where I get the most choice. Um, I'm just maximizing my own choice. I'm not telling anyone to try to uh, sabotage someone's primary. I'm telling people, uh, maximize your own choice. You know, and make sure that uh, if you wanted to see a battle between Barack Obama versus whatever candidate that's on that panel in the Republican debates, that's the one that you get to see, you know, rather than, you know, something that really isn't even a choice to you. All right, that's all.